Hi, my name's Cash and you're watching Cash Dale Cars. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do something that every Miata regularly needs. And if you don't do it, you're pretty much guaranteeing that your car is going to rust out. Now, what we're going to be doing today is clearing out the soft top drains. If you come out to your car and you have water in your foot wells and in the interior, there's a good chance that your drains are already all clogged up and you do want to do this as a normal maintenance item because if they get clogged and water gets caught up in your car, it's going to be rusting from the inside out and it's going to be a bad time. Without further ado, let's get into how to find your drains, how to clean them, and how to make sure that they're flowing properly. So the drains that we need to clean are right here on the outside of the car at the end of your rain rail. The rain rail is this part here that runs along the bottom of the top which collects water which I'll show you from the outside. But yeah, the drains are this plastic thing down here that are all filled up with some debris here. You could see some leaves and some other plant stuff in there. And that's what we're gonna be cleaning out initially and then we'll clean out the drain that runs top to bottom through the car. When your top is all the way up and operating properly, water runs down it and into the rain rail which is right down here. It's basically that channel that runs along the back of this top and those drain out right at the drains which from the outside of the car are right in here um, on the other side of this top. So that's the location. Now what I'm going to do is vacuum those out, get all the leaves and debris out, and then we need to clean out the drain which runs down through the car and drains out right down here at the bottom. On this car I'm actually replacing the top but you could see how much junk gets caught up in this rain rail and this is all the debris that gets down into the corner drains there and clogs it up. So you could see down in here there's just tons more leaves and pine needles and crap that gets built up and that's what clogs your drains. Here you can see just how much junk builds up in these drains. This is tons of leaves and then there's some paper stuff down there and this really needs to be vacuumed out so that's the next thing that I'm going to do. So now I got the leaves off and there's like a built up layer of sludge down in here. We got to get that out because that's preventing water from flowing through this. I got in here with a coat hanger and I was able to pull a lot of the stuff that was up at the surface out. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this and just to show you where this drain goes, if you press this all the way down and you do want to be careful because you don't want to damage the internals, there's a hose that runs from up here to the bottom. You could see that that runs out right at the ground right here and that's where your water is going to drain out. Next, to make sure you did a good job with that, you want to get a watering can or some method to pour water down your drain and you want to pour it right down your drain there and that'll clear out any extra excess debris and other stuff that's stuck in there. And while you're doing that, you want to look down at the bottom of the car and make sure that water pours out. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to grow your NB Miata into a Viper. What you want to look for here is that water is consistently and quickly flowing out of your drains. If it's not flowing out at the same rate that you're putting water in, assuming that it's pretty reasonable, you need to go back in and clean out your drains a little bit better and make sure that the water could escape very quickly. Once that happens, you know you're in really good shape and your drains will be good for quite a while. Now, like I said, you do want to regularly check this, and if you live in a place where you get a lot of pine needles or leaves or other debris falling on your car, you need to do this more often. With all that, that's going to wrap up this video. If you want to see all of my content early, which includes tons and tons of Miata content, you could go check out my Patreon page where I post everything early and you get other exclusive benefits. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I hope you stick around for the next one. Take care.